Okay, today we're gonna finish up 6-1 property of exponents. And today we're gonna talk about eliminating parentheses. So remember, when we simplify exponential expressions, we have to have positive exponents, all like bases must be combined, and we cannot have parentheses. So what does that look like? Well, we're gonna go ahead and go to example four. Power of a product property. Well we kind of look at something similar to this. Let's say I had xy to the fifth power. Well, what does that look like? Well, that's xy times xy times xy times xy times one, two, three, four, five. I should have picked a smaller exponent. Okay, so I'm just repeating the base five times. Now I end up with x to the one, two, three, four, five, x to the fifth times y to the fifth. So my shortcut here really is when I have xy to the fifth in parentheses, I end up with x to the fifth and y to the fifth. So to find the power of a product, we're going to find the power of each factor, factor and multiply. So if I have AB times M, I end up with A to the M, B to the M. Now, I'm gonna show you this two ways. Honestly, would I solve it this first way? No, and I'll show you what I mean. But I wanna show you that this does work. So I've got three to the fifth times two to the fifth, and three to the fifth is 243 times two to the fifth which is 32, and when I multiply those together, I get 7,776. Now, honestly, even with the um, property rules here, I would still do three times two first, which is six, and six to the fifth power is 7,776, but if you see, I got the same answer here. All right, now this one simply is just this with the answers. I forgot to delete it, so I apologize. All right, let's move on to the next one. So what about the quotient? So I'm gonna do the same thing and let's take a look at an example here. So if I had, uh, let's do some exponents or let's do some variables here. So if I had x divided by y to the third power I get x divided by y times x divided by y times x divided by y. Now, as if you recall fractions, we multiply the numerators, so I had x cubed, multiply the denominators, and I have y cubed. So, if I have the quantity x divided by y cubed, I end up with x cubed over y cubed. So, how do I find the power of a quotient? I'm going to find the power of the numerator and the power of the denominator and then divide. Okay, so if I have a divided by b to the m power, so I have a to the m over b to the m. Now here, I really can't divide neatly. I mean, I'll end up with a decimal, but I'd end up with three to the fifth power over two to the fifth power there. So um, when I do that, I'm gonna get out my calculator here. I have three to the fifth, which is 243 over two to the fifth, which is 32. So remember, do the math until there is no more math to do. All right, I want you to go ahead and try these. Hit pause. When you're done, go ahead and hit play and we'll take a look at these together. All right, take a look at this first one. We have negative one and five tenths squared times y squared which negative one and five tenths times negative one and five tenths gives us two and 2,500 y squared. 
Now, here we're going to split that up. So we have a cubed over negative 10 cubed. So I want to be careful here. So I've got a cubed. Now, negative 10 times negative 10 times negative 10 is negative 1,000. Be careful. I feel like be careful is my new saying with this unit. Now we're getting a little trickier here. So I've got my denominator or my numerator, which is 3D to the fourth and 2 to the fourth. Now I'm going to take a look at this only. Now this goes back to the rules we just talked about. So I have 3 to the fourth, D to the fourth over, well, 2 to the fourth. So I end up with 81 D to the fourth over 16. We're going to split this one up here. So I have 2x to the negative fifth over 3 to the negative fifth. Now, keep in mind, I've got negatives here. So that is 3 to the fifth over 2x to the fifth. So I have 3 to the fifth over 2 to the fifth, x to the fifth, which leaves me with 243 over 32x to the fifth. All right, let's go back to our uh, cheat sheet here and uh, finish up how we can eliminate parentheses. So if I have the quantity a, b to the nth power, that's a to the n, b to the n. And if I have the quantity a divided by b to the nth power, that's a to the nth over b to the nth. Have a great day.